Welcome to Wesley's channels and that's Wesley's news. We have a part number three of free energy device of Osmos. No power supply, no battery, only one input to start. And of course, uh, we need to explain that to people. How is that possible to work? I have even more revelation about a guy from Riga, from Latvia, who made a similar device. But that would be later. So, uh, we're going to go to the first part. It is going to include all of the videos that I was able to gather from Dali. And although the quality is not great, later on you're going to see the screenshots that will give you very good understanding. And also, the coil that will be taken out apart and uh, that coil will show what is inside and how to make it happen, how to make it wind it. Part number three, we're gonna go to the basic and go to the video. Upper impulse forming block, lower impulse forming block, coil assembly, called also magic coil, high voltage impulse forming circuitry, 20 to 12 volts power supply 12 volt battery and the switch rectifier of voltage from coil number l4 from 12 to 5 volts voltage stabilizers transformer on ferrite ring sardachnik neon light bulb indicator for 150 volts pulse dc two shot kick diodes also called tunneling diodes hello everybody I would like to explain to you my device. This coil he calls exchanger. The very thin wire that would be this wire is the wire that goes to the transformer. So he shows a transformer here, and that's the tin wire. So those two, this and that. That would be coil number L1. The second winding is the resonance winding which is the coil and the capacitor not connected anywhere else I was adjusting the value of the capacitor to re reach the reason coaxial cable is connected to the generator using nano second impulses now this, what you see in here, is a nanosecond generator and high voltage generating part in one. I was using schematic of Pyokin from the book of Pyokin. I'm gonna go back. KD203, there are diodes that are being used. There are two diodes, one in here, one over there. That's the generated the lower pulse forming plug. And it goes to the transformer that is built on the ferrite and goes from here to the 150 volts of high voltage, 150 volt impulse. Energy is being produced because it comes to the inner coil, the signal. And that was my mini Tesla that I was using before when I was experimenting with it. 
and I'm using very thin wire, 0 0.35 of millimeter gauge, square millimeter gauge, and it's wind next to the wind, one layer of coil. From that generator, I'm getting the signal to the coil, and the frequency that comes from the ferrite transformer is about 12, 13 to 15 kilohertz, and I wasn't measuring it, I was just listening to the sound of the ferrite. So from the transformer through the grid bridge rectifier and the capacitor, 150 volts goes to this block. From generator of nanosecond impulses through the coaxial cable that would be here, the signal goes to the set of coils. That wire is being used as PFLR. That means that end of that coaxial cable is shorter. So he treated us PFLR. So I have a grant connected. Then there is a grid bridge, capacitors, there are bipolar capacitors, not polar capacitors, because polar capacitors were just exploding on me. So how am I starting it back? I'm starting it up from the battery. I'm switching the generator of nanosecond impulses, and it's the switch. You guys hear the sound, and that's the sound of the ferrite. Uh, pretty much like in Akua and plenty of other guys, uh, even SR, the guy from March of 2010, who I was told was killed. So he was only on a forum a few months. It was here. Now what he does is, this is the switch after the rectifier that connects the rectifier to the load, which will be the light bulb. And now we have a load on. I'm disconnecting the battery. So the system is working by itself. And this is my wire, the grant wire that I'm using. My wire was too short, so I had to splice it in one place. And you're going to see that as well. That's my splice. I can touch the ground wire without any problem, not going to get electric good. For the Russian part of the audience, I'm giving the original pictures and the text, which show how to make a coil. What Dali did, he unwinded the coil, made the pictures, so everybody knows what is inside. And also, the black stair. Дорогие друзья, для русскоговорящих людей, которые смотрят на это видео, даю эту информацию, чтобы если кто-то захочет и использовать, пожалуйста. То же самое Live View или другие страницы, если они хотят, пожалуйста, возьмите себе это видео, поставьте себе на ваши сайты. Я не возражаю. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go further. So, as you see, uh, you have a pretty much um, informational site. And that site could be translated into English. I will try to present that English translation later on. You have a PDF as well. And make it happen. I have more revelation 
in this area but I'm gonna go with it step by step for some part time now uh, there was the interest of uh, some Arabic countries and also Venezuela about me personally and my activity. And uh, <laughs> I know, guys, that uh, even though that they wish you the best, you are pissed off very much. Guess what? Every day there are thousands of thousands of new people getting to free energy movement. And it is only a need for one who will make it and give it away. And with all the respect and the best wishes of mine that I have for you, your businesses, your oil, you done. And of course, because I'm talking to the powers and I'm talking to the people who rule the world. Who am I? You can squash me. Guess what? I don't care. I have nothing to lose. All I can do is gain. Along with my beloved country, United States of America. The nation and all nations of the world. All single people. Thank you. This was the part number three of Dari. Free energy device. No power supply. No battery. One single impulse to start. And this is Wesley. And it's Wesley's news. See you at part number four.